Perfect timing. Same again for me and my little friend here will have a margarita. For tonight, we hit the town. Right. Jungle Red. Here we go. Oh, my God. Check the date on that bottle. I've never smelled a polish so strong. I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, my God. I was thinking, Judy, two young single women like ourselves, maybe we should hit the town later. Well, I'm here with my mum, so I'd have to ask her. Tell me, is your mother a short person as well? I mean, does it run in the family? Like being ginger. Can you keep your hands still, please? The look we're going for is 50s glamour. Not like you've been gutting a rabbit. My mum's really tall. Say this again. My mum's really tall. You know, it's fascinating, but you slipped out of your American accent. Oddly enough, I was in South Africa and picked up a twang there. It's ebbed away the last few years, thank God. Do you know, <laughs> at times I sounded almost toffy nose. Can you believe that? Perfect timing. Same again for me and my little friend here will have a margarita. For tonight, we hit the town. I'm sorry, we're not serving you anymore. I thought this was supposed to be all inclusive. We're not serving you any more alcohol. Fine. Then just two very large margaritas from a good friend, Judy. She hasn't had half the alcohol I've I beg your pardon? I can assure you, this young lady's been served no alcohol whatsoever. I've been drinking all afternoon with this splendid woman, and I can assure you, she's been knocking back the vodkas like a Russian soldier. What? She can drink as well as the next man, as long as the next man is Paul Gascoigne. What is going on here? Hiya. What was your champagne brunch like? I'll champagne brunch you in a minute. Where's your granddad? Um, are you Judy's mother? She said you were very tall. Who the friggin' hell are you? I'm Judy's new drinking partner. We've had quite the day, haven't we, darling? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, let's get inside. It's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> My nails look pretty, Mummy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to this intervention. For my sister Pauline, who's an alcoholic. Not true. Pauline, it's okay. It's time to face your demons. No, I mean, I'm not your sister, am I? Technically speaking. All oh, right, what? Well, you're bringing that up now. Come on, Pauline, love. Play nice. We're trying to help you. I'm not being funny, pal, but what's this got to do with us? An important part of the process is Pauline apologising to the people she's hurt. So I'd like to ask Sharon if she'd hear some of her grievances, please. Right. I'm going to try and stay calm. Basically, I go out for two hours and I come back to find my seven-year-old daughter sitting with this lunatic drinking vodka through a curly straw. In my defence, I did think your daughter was a midget. What? Sorry, I mean, little person. Hang on, hang on. We've established Jody wasn't served alcohol at any time. Yeah, don't you think you're taking this a bit seriously? Seriously? Of course I'm taking it seriously. I ask you to look after my child for one morning, Eddie. Anything could have happened. OK, folks. We're here for Pauline. I'm not here for Pauline. I'm here to find out exactly what happened to my daughter while I was away. Away having a champagne brunch. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, what's that got to do with anything? Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. You what? Listen, you! Sharon, just sit down. Guys, guys, I think we're getting a bit sidetracked.